You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Here in this first clip, you're going to watch 2013 grad Tiffany Lewis, shooting guard. You can see her as we get started. She actually has Shadero Clay, uh, 2012, one of the better point guards in the class here, rebounding for her, kicking it out. You can see her right here. One of the things that we talked about with her during the course of the workout is just keeping her body on balance. You can see her right-handed shooter stepping in to meet the pass and knocking it down. You know, good shooter, has room to continue to grow as she progresses her game. I know one of the things that... You know, she had looked at and mentioned that she was doing has been in the weight room, working on her strength to improve her range. You're going to see her step all the way out in the next three or four clips, all the way out to the three-point line. You know, she can really let it go and is only going to continue to get better in you know, her release point. You can see her right there catching it in the pocket of her stomach, getting the basketball up with the nice high one-second fall through every time. Now you can see in this next clip, take one step back. Now we're here at about 17, 18, right here in that mid-range. You know, breaking it down, you can actually see us looking, wanting to make sure that every single time that ball comes out of her hand that she gets it up, gets it above the rim, which she's doing. You know, Clay gets it back to her right here, and you're going to see her lock it in, get it up, get it out. When she holds that follow-through more times than not, the basketball's going in for her when she gets that right wrist down in the basket. That definitely was a point of emphasis for us during the workout, especially when we get behind the three-point line, which you'll see here in this next set of clips in just a minute. You're going to see how effective she is when she can get that follow-through up, held, and get that right wrist down in the basket. It's rare that she misses. Another short clip, still here at about 18, still knocking it down. We got a bunch of shots up at this point. She actually worked out with the morning group. This is Sunday at about lunchtime. So went with the morning group, was feeling good, and then got her right back in here. Wanted to continue to work and build on the foundation of that shot. You know, I think Lewis at the next level, obviously she can shoot the basketball as you're seeing in these clips. I, I do think, too, she's going to be a good defender. You know, was in really good shape conditioning-wise. Good frame as she continues to be able to add some weight through weight training. It's never going to be a bigger guard in terms of her build, but it's going to be strong even though her frame is slender. So in terms of moving left to right and being able to defend on or off the ball, she's going to be able to do those things in addition to knocking down the three-pointer. You know, we also looked at her ability to knock down shots off the move. You know, I think a lot of times kids get labeled as shooters or as slashers early, but shooter in the context of what we're talking about means that simply you stand in the corner and wait for somebody, you know, like Shadero Clay, so to speak, to dribble, pitch, hit you, and then you got to knock it down. You know, it's rare that we teach kids how to shoot it off the move, how to use screens. You can see us getting this curl cut here. She comes in, curls right there off the screen, and then is in position to knock it down. You know, I think for a kid like Lewis at the next level, being able to score it off of a single screen or even a double late in the game or out of a timeout is essential. Now you see us talk about here attacking momentum. You're going to see her catch it off this curl. Read the defender jumps the screen right there. She catches it. Quick rip through attacks momentum. You know, the other teaching point was getting hip to hip on that first step, going north to south. You're going to see her come off, catch square, good dribble, good bounce, good step. You know, now we're looking at the helpline coming over. You're going to see her here. Catch, quick rip through, one bounce, and instead of attacking the rim, you know, she sees that big 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 6 post player waiting on her coming from the offside or maybe even right there on the post side, you know, right there on the ball side, excuse me. So she catches, rips, reads that, and then pulls up and knocks that jumper down before she runs into that helpline defender so we can still get a basket. You know, last but not least, you're going to watch her kind of stretch the defense out here. She comes off of it, doesn't get the reach she wants, so she's going to stretch it or drag it out, so to speak. Step in, drag, boom, gets the reach she wants on that help side. Defender coming over or coming up and kind of rushing at her. Rushes her body. She puts the ball on the deck again. You can see it there. Rush on the defender in. She attacks it and is able to finish. We actually worked on, as you can see, using that inside hand on the rim. You know, one of the things that, that we really like to talk about lately is we don't really care how you finish, whatever the preference is. You know, we want to show you, obviously, left on left, right on right, traditional. But being able to finish right on left or left on right is you're seeing more and more at the high levels, whether that be college or whether that be pro, being able to finish and put it in.